My name is Lindsay, and I am a board member with the Child Advocacy Center here in Lincoln, Nebraska. I have been with the board for two years now, and I'm here to talk with you today about athletes and abuse. Over 45 million children in the United States participate in youth sports each year. Safe Sport estimates that 40 to 50% of children will experience some type of abuse throughout their athletic career. So why are children at risk in youth sports? Children are taught from a very young age to respect adults in authority. If they need something or need help with something, they ask an adult. Coaches know that children are going to be looking to them for advice and for help, and some might take advantage of their role as a coach. The wrong coach can scar a child for life. Now, don't get me wrong, there are great coaches out there and they can be a mentor and a great influencer for that child for the rest of their life. The types of abuse that are most common in athletics are emotional abuse, bullying, harassment, putting a child down, making them feel like they're not good enough to play that sport, good enough to be on that team, or worthy to be in the gym with their classmates. Physical abuse. Maybe they're overworking a child for mistakes that they're making. They're punishing them with running too much, too hard of drills, and it's taking a physical toll on their body. And sexual misconduct, which often can be non-consensual touching, gender-related harassment, or sexual exploitation. Some signs and indicators that something might be happening. Your child who absolutely loved going to their youth activity doesn't have any desire to go anymore. They're withdrawn. They might be saying that they don't feel well, that there's an illness suddenly before each practice. They have anxiety, panic attacks. There might be an injury that all of a sudden come up. They have stomach aches or digestive issues. They're angry, they're depressed. And those are just not normal characteristics that your child exhibits prior to their activities. So some recommendations, some questions to ask. Before you sign that dotted line or drop your kid off at the door, make sure you just ask the administrator, do you have a policy in place for athlete abuse prevention? That protects the coaches, the program, and your, your youth. Do they have safe travel policies? Do they have policies for one-on-one -on -one interaction with your child at practices? And understand the different techniques that might be going on. It's never appropriate for a coach or leader to be texting your child or messaging them through social media. They should never be working one-on-one -on -one with your child without having other visible eyes watching what's happening. They should never be befriending them, going above and beyond a coach and an athlete interaction. They should not be promoting them to different roles within the team. You as a parent know if there's excessive playing time or there's more attention being given to your child. You know your child better than anyone. Your gut instinct will know if something is wrong or out of character with your child. To best protect your children and the coaches, make sure you ask these questions to put everyone in the best and safest scenario as possible. And if you ever have any questions, please reach out to our Child Advocacy Center. They're here to help you and make you and your child feel most comfortable to prevent as much child abuse as we can. Thank you.